Thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Fed Chairman, um, for taking the questions. So you've talked about we had solid um, job growth. I'm Edward Lawrence from Fox Business, by the way. We had solid job growth, a slight falling in the increase in consumer spending. Um, it seems so far it's been relatively mild uh, from the economy to go to from a 9.1% CPI inflation to 6.5% CPI inflation. Is the hard part yet to come to go from 65 to 2? I don't think we know, honestly. You know, the uh, so we, of course, expected goods inflation to start coming down by the end of 2021. And it didn't. It didn't come down all through 22. And now it's coming down, and it's coming down pretty fast. So I would say these are. this is not a standard business cycle where you can look at the last 10 times there was a global pandemic and we shut the economy down and uh, Congress did what it did and we did. What we did. It's just, it's unique. So I think certainty is just not appropriate here. Inflation, it's just harder to forecast inflation. It may come down faster. It may take longer to come down. And, you know, our job is to deliver inflation back to target and we will do that. But I think we, we're going to be cautious about, about declaring victory and, you know, sending signals that, uh, that we think that the, the game is won because, it, you know, it's, we've got a long way to go. It's just it's the early stages of disinflation. And the, it's most welcome to be able to say that, that we are now in disinflation. But that's great. But we, we just see that it has to spread through the economy and that it's going to take some time. That's all. Do you, how long do you see then the federal funds rate remaining at this elevated level? You know, so our, again, our, the, my forecast and that of my colleagues, as you will see from the SEP, and I mean, there are many different forecasts, but generally it's a forecast of slower growth, some softening in labor market conditions, and inflation moving down, moving down steadily, but not quickly. And in that case, uh, if, if the economy performs broadly in line with those expectations, it will not be appropriate to, to cut rates this year, to loosen policy this year. Of course, other people have forecasts with, with inflation coming down much faster. That's a different thing. You know, if that happens, if inflation comes down much faster, you know, then we'll be seeing that and, and it will be incorporated into our thinking about policy. 